So I did a video earlier today about one of my friends works for HBO. Now, I wouldn't even call him a friend, but he up. He's a guy who doesn't like his job. <laughs> and he always and for and for quite some time he's been giving me some information and I and I tested his word on, on some things that that actually happened. And uh so he told me about the August date that Eddie Hearn had already finalized and he told me that um HBO and Anthony Josh were real close. They haven't signed the contract yet. He said Showtime may come in real hard, real late. But uh, and then he also told me that there's an outside chance if Triple G and Canelo don't do great numbers, uh, Canelo could possibly fight Andre Ward uh, to get some crossover appeal into the contemporary market. But go ahead. That's what I. Oh, you know what, Fred? I was I almost jumped up and down. When you put that video out now, you fucked up the first video. I thought you was doing some clickbait shit. <laughs> I, I uploaded everybody, and fell asleep. Everybody got, on, everybody got on your helmet about that, so I apologize for <laughs> you saying, saying that you too, you too deep in the game to be doing clickbait shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you too deep in the game. Out, you was talking about age your brother, so I said, well, I guess, this, I guess my man was... Uh, Sleepy, so yeah, I was not. I was tired as hell. You know, I got you know. Everybody saying for everybody, and so I apologize for giving you your helmet, saying, "Oh man, Fred, you do a clickbait YouTube." Oh, oh, you put that in the comments. I didn't read the comments. I just (laughs) someone sent me a DM this morning and said, "Hey, Fred, I think you you uploaded Adrian Brona video twice." So I just deleted it and re-uploaded. Excuse me, and re-uploaded what should have been. So, all right, well, I apologize. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. it ha- I, I, okay, I was dog tired last night. I, I said an Adrian yeah, Broner video. I'm tired as joke. hell. It was a joke. Yeah, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I know. It was a joke at the same time, too. But let me speak on this. You know what, Fred? I was jumping up and down when, uh, when I heard the actual video because... When I first did my channel, I put a video out exactly saying what you were saying that this is before the pre, the, the you know, the mystery meat mm-hmm. scandal. So I said that Canelo should fight Andre Ward. That is a win-win situation for him because nobody would expect him to win. Mm-hmm. But at least as far as his resume goes, it looked like, hey, he fought the best, mm. the best guys out there. So I said he should have considered that. Nobody would expect him to win. And then plus, it would, I think an Andre Ward fight would sell good because, one, you would have that traditional, you know, black and brown rivalry thing. Mm-hmm. And I think it would do well because you would, you would bring a different type of audience. And I think it would sell well. And I think it would do very well. I, I keep telling you, Triple G... The Triple G fight is going to flop. Nobody cares about this fight. No People one. on my channel was saying, hey, man, we don't care about this fight. Yeah, And, and I'm, based off the fact the fact that Canelo, Canelo this latest shit with him, didn't happen. It's a flop. It's going to do bad. So I would love for a Canelo-Andre Ward fight to happen. But the only thing I'm worried about, well, the, how the, the end results would be. Andre Ward, I would be scared that Andre Ward would have to just literally stop Canelo, which I think he would possibly do well, just because size plays a role. I don't trust this fight going to the judges. Canelo because has no answer for a boxer weird. anyway. You don't have to worry about that. Canelo has no answer for a boxer. It's nothing. I mean, yeah, at, the, the at the A level, is, at the A level. And yeah, but the problem was he was badly, severely beat it. Beaten by Floyd Mayweather. I mm-hmm. I, I watch Floyd versus Canelo at least once a month, mm-hmm. and I, I to this day I still have trouble trying to find one round to give Canelo. At best, you can make an argument that Canelo possibly won two rounds, and then you can say those two rounds were even rounds. So still, you have Floyd overwhelmingly winning this fight, and somehow uh, C.J. Ross came with a with a draw. One fourteen. So that's what I'm worried about. Mm-hmm. I, that's what I'm worried about, and and I'm telling you right now, if they find a way to screw Andre Ward, I'm telling you now, boxing will. Uh, when I say you would see a, a serious racial divide, mm-hmm. because it, when I say all hell would break loose if Andre Ward overwhelmingly dominated that fight and they found a way to give that fight to Canelo, I'm just telling you, boxing would be completely done. Yeah, I mean, and I'm telling you, yeah, it would. Vegas. Vegas and Canelo get along well. They will find a way to steal. They're going to they gonna find a way to steal Triple G's, though. 
You know what I mean? So uh, I, I wouldn't doubt that they would find a way to try and steal Ward. Oh, but Ward is too big, too strong, too calculated. Gold medalist, has the pedigree, has gotten off the canvas, won the biggest fight of his career. I mean, I mean, although Father Time never loses, I think Father Time is, has, has yet to catch Andre Ward, you know? But, uh, I, think, I, I think Andre Ward would seriously have to consider trying to stop Canelo or at least drop Canelo. But I, I see Andre Ward, I see Andre Ward dominating that fight. But I'm just scared that the judges would find a way, or should I say, Oscar De La Hoya would find a way to try to screw Andre Ward. And I just think this would be the biggest. It, I, I just think it would be no coming back from boxing. And I'm telling you right now, Canelo's career would be just over. Yeah, it wouldn't be. It, it would be completely over if he just got destroyed without getting knocked out and then they found i'm telling you canelo's career would be a joke mm. and boxing would be completely done and golden boy would be completely done because oscar is damn near done as it is well if but canelo loses like two in a row this latest scandal is killing him if he loses two in a row canelo could be done and, yeah. and, and that's another thing so either way, it still would be a risky fight for Canelo. But at the same time, if Canelo went and took this fight, and let's just say he did, he did beat Triple G, and then he fought Andre Ward and lost to Andre Ward, then it would be okay because nobody would <laughs> expect him to beat Andre Ward. But it would look as hey, he challenged himself. You want to hear some 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 irony? I gotta go, but you want to hear something that's at the end of this summer. If Adrian Broner miraculously beats Jesse Vargas, I, I don't say that disrespectfully, but I have him as a as a three to one favorite in my head. They could potentially have the same amount of losses at the end of this summer. Canelo could have three losses. Uh, Broner could have three losses. How? <laughs> and, and yet they they portray two different narratives, you know. So I mean, one I, I, I mean, obviously Adrian Broner has has been detrimental to his own career, but. That would that would draw such irony, you know. What I mean, he has three losses, and uh, uh, Brona could have three losses. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be very interesting. Mm-hmm. But I, 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 me myself, has have anybody heard anything from Andre Ward? No, I no no no. I haven't spoken to Ward. I I spoke to an HBO guy. HBO oh, guy. Is Andre Ward interested in this fight? Oh, I'm sure he would be. Fuck yeah. I mean, he would have to start training camp now because he has to get down to, I don't know what the catch weight would be, 170, 160. They're not fighting for belts. Canelo don't care about belts. So it wouldn't be a belt on the line. It would be a make-believe belt. You understand? So, I mean, they, they literally can do whatever they want. Canelo, you know Canelo can do well, anything he wants. Well, it would have to be a fair way suitable to Andre Ward uh, mm-hmm. because, well, Canelo has fought at super middleweight, so... He fought at 64. He fought at six. Well, anything over 160, you're right. So when he fought at 164 and a half, right? Yeah. Yeah. Points, point something. Yeah, 165 and 164 and three quarters, whatever the Something like that. Yeah, 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 something like that. But for Andre Ward, I think it would have to be at least... They might would say Andre Ward could come in at 168 on the dot. You Mm -hmm. know, they... I think it would take some serious money to get Andre Ward. You have to because, I mean, you got to take into account Rock Nation. His deal with Rock Nation is up, I believe. And they paid him 5 to $7 million for the two Kovalev fights. It cost Rock Nation money to put on those fights and pay uh, Andre Ward. So, I mean, you're looking at, you got to give Ward $10 million, $12 million, you know, somewhere there as a guarantee. And then the back end of the pay-per-view. You know, but um, we'll yeah, see. This fight would sell. This, I, I would try my hardest to get to this fight. And it would be in Vegas. Was, no doubt that fight would be in Vegas. No doubt in my at mind. The, at the T-Mobile Arena. For sure. Definitely when you get 16,000 people. I don't know if it sells out, but I'm sure you can get 16,000 people in there, you know. so I, I, think it would, I think it would sell out. I think you would have the Andre Ward fans show up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. They would definitely would show up because of... Go ahead. It would do great. This fight, I guarantee you, would sell over a million pay per views. It would, it would do, wow. do well, and I think they should consider this. Wow, Ooh, I'll say I'll, a million is tough. A million is tough. A million is tough to do. 
Damn. I think they could get. I think they could get a million and some change because it's just certain fights. Now that Andre Ward is a little more popular than what he was two years ago, you he know, is. he started making his he rounds is. on ESPN. You've been seeing him on HBO, and people know who the casual, sort of like the semi-casual boxer fan know who Andre Ward is, but not the the you know the dude that watch. Like maybe a boxing match once every every year, but you the sort of right. semi, the sort of semi casual who watch boxing like whenever it's a big name will tune in to that fight. Well, we'll see. A million is tough to do. So uh, I mean, they would have to sell that fight, and they would have to announce it before. You, you got to announce a fight like that before the Fourth of July because people got to start putting their money in place. Whether you're going to the fight or whether you're paying a hundred dollars, people think a hundred dollars is such an easy thing to come by. You know what I mean? Like, it's literally a thought goes into $100. Thought doesn't really go into, like, $20. You know what I mean? But you say, damn, $89.99 for a pay-per-view, 99 HD? Shit. Like, not because you don't have it, but the cost. Like, I'm not paying $100 for that shit. So you got to you gotta announce that fight before the 4th of July, you know, so people can start yeah, putting their monies in to place. Put, put together, and they would have to put together a solid undercard. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah, speaking of undercards, I got some good news. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, let's do one more video. I'll wrap this one up. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Oh, you good? Okay. All right. Let me let me start it again.